I'm Blair Gilbert here from MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores, Michigan. Here to show how to convert a fluorescent light fixture from fluorescent tubes with a ballast to a LED driven fixture. Some things you need to know. When you buy an LED light bulb, they come either shunted or non-shunted. A shunted light bulb means that one piece of electricity is going to come in the one end of the tube and electricity is going to come into the other end. That would be a shunted bulb, which means these two prongs are dealt as one. So power at one end, power at the other end, it's a shunted bulb. We here have and are showing the non-shunted bulb, which means the power all comes in to one end. These are our suicide clips here. 110 volts to one end of this bulb, and that's firing. There's no ballast required, and all the electricity is coming in at one end. <clears throat> With that in mind, the fixture we're changing. This was a three bulb fixture, we're going to convert it to a one bulb fixture. It had three shunted tombstones. These are called tombstones. And how we know they're shunted is we have a little meter here, and with the wires not shorted out or touching, we try the two conductors and we see that the meter goes all the way across. So this tombstone that's shunted, in other words, the two connectors are shut are this tombstone with two conductors they're both connected together internally is no good for us we need a tombstone that has two separate conductors so when we touch these two you notice the meter they're not shorted out so one wire here is one conductor one wire here is the other conductor so we can take and put 110 here the 110 will go to these two posts that will light our light bulb so this fixture to wire this we need one non-shunted tombstone. To convert this fixture what we need to do is first of all we're going to take and turn this fixture into a one tube fixture. We don't need three tubes. These LEDs put out more lights than our old one so we're going to put it together with only one tombstone on each end to operate it. We're going to put 110 at only one end. We're going to mark this hot that this is our feed side because our light bulb only takes electricity our our LED light bulb only takes electricity at one end. This other end, you could say, is a dumb end. It's only to go into the tombstone to hold the bulb steady. This is the money end where the power is going to come. We have power coming into the fixture. To a black and white. And what we're going to do is, we're going to remove everything on this end. We don't need any of this stuff. There's no power going to go to anything down here because we're going to use a non-shunted tombstone so we're going to take our 110 volts and we're going to run it right to one tombstone only and from this end we're going to power the fixture and we remove the ballast there's some LED bulbs that are made to be ballast driven like I was saying for the lazy guy or the commercial plant where they don't have anybody that's going to be able to rewire it and that, that's a big deal um, so what happens is, though, when you buy an LED bulb that uses a ballast, this is still wasting electricity. So what we want to do is we want to take this ballast and just get it out of here. So now we're, we will only have 110 volts going directly to our LED bulb. Our fixture is cleaner, no parts in here. There's two kinds of tombstones. There's a tombstone that the two poles are wired together. Uh -huh. They're called shunted. That's what I had. I can't use it. I need to have a tombstone that has two separate poles. So I can put a black wire, a white wire. When I put this in, it's same as putting 110 to it. Boom, light, light bulb lights up. This so is, This is the change. This is the, don't always have to do it. Most, most fixtures, these aren't shunted. But if they are, you can buy an LED bulb that takes a black wire on one end and a white wire on that end and then shunt it is fine because I'll put black to both ends. I have to decide what LED bulbs mm. to buy. Do I want to buy LED bulbs that are... I'd rather have the power just at one end which is what I'm going to do but oh, I... The, these aren't. This one the power is at one end only okay. and that's my choice so I have to wire accordingly. It, just another style. Yeah. 
A 110 volt LED can come shunted or non-shunted. If it's a shunted LED bulb, the power has to go to each end separate. If it's a non-shunted LED bulb, the power will go only to one end. Both are going to be just 110. You can buy a cheesy LED bulb that still uses the ballast. I just don't recommend it because I just as soon get rid of that electricity wasting appliance inside this box. So we're removing it. You bought shunted LED bulbs, then we could have wired all the black here, all the white there. When you're doing a couple small wires, you need to go sometimes to a smaller wire nut. The orange wire is good for heavy wires to light wires, but when I'm going light wire to light wire, I need to go down another size. And whenever you use a wire nut and you tighten it down, you always check to make sure the wires don't pull out. The biggest mistake homeowners make is they don't get the, wire, the right wire nuts in advance and they put something together and it really doesn't snug up and become safe and they just shove it in the hole anyway. We happen to have a little pull chain switch on this fixture and so we like to switch the black wire. So our power coming in, the black wire comes into our pull chain switch, the black wire comes into our tombstone, so we switch the black wire, the white wire is not switched. The white wire comes in and goes right to the tombstone, to the light. This is typical standard wiring procedure. Our conversion has been complete. We put 110 to one end to this tombstone. As you can see, there's no electricity down to this tombstone. If this were a shunted bulb, there'd be a black wire here and a white wire there. Again, we chose to go with non-shunted bulbs. Another good thing with these is say I did hook this up to multiple light bulbs. Seeing as how there's no ballast, if I take one bulb out, there's no electricity being wasted. We snap in the bulb, we plug it in, pull chain, voila. So here we replaced these three 32 watt bulbs and they were high efficient with one 15 watt bulb that's putting out 1800 lumens. So we're, this used to be with three bulbs in it, it's going to do almost the same work with just one bulb. And here's the specs in this bulb just for the, those of you that are looking to see what we're proposing here. These tubes are going to cost anywhere from 8 to 12 dollars. The tombstones are about $1.50, so you can convert any fixture you want to just about anything you need to do. Uh, this other fixture we have here that has shunted, shunted tombstones, we're, we're going to buy some bulbs for it that are actually shunted bulbs. So we're going to put the black to these tombstones, we're going to put the white wire to these tombstones. So our 110 will come in, this will come in, one part of our power will go east, one part of our power will go west. So those will all be black, these will all be white, although we won't need four, we will probably only need two. Another advantage of an LED fluorescent tube is, if we take one out, the ballast isn't powering all, wasting its electricity, powering all the tombstones. There's just simply 110, so if you take one out, there's no loss of energy, you're only running one bulb instead of two or three or four. So if you want to use this for a work area and you want a ton of light, you could plug in all four if you wanted to blind yourself and do some surgery there.